Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a fun video for me. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an extensive drugstore bridesmaid or bridal makeup look. So I have a lot of friends that come to me um, not only to do their makeup for um, their bridesmaids or them when they're getting married, but also um, I have people coming to me that are at CVS and they're like, help, like I need to do my makeup for a wedding that I'm in what products do I get and how do I use them? So I wanted to make this video for you guys out there, especially with coronavirus going on. Um, you know, the wedding world is in, I wouldn't say it's in shambles, but it's a really mixed up right now. People are doing Zoom weddings or just really smaller weddings. People aren't hiring makeup artists because of, um, you know, germs and all of that kind of stuff. So if you're in that boat and you need to do your makeup yourself, or if you are in a situation where you would have to pay for your own makeup as a bridesmaid, and that's something you can't afford because you know you've already paid for your dress and like bachelorette stuff like that, I this is really gonna help you. Also, if you're a bride on a budget girl, this is gonna help you as well well so i have a comprehensive list of prices for these items everything is drugstore the full face that i'm wearing right now came out to around 175 dollars before you freak out that's including everything including brushes like foundations powders lip like all of that and i'm sure a lot of you guys already have items like eyeliner mascara that type of stuff so use whatever you have and don't feel like you have to do everything that I did on my face. You can definitely pick and choose what you wanna do. Like if you're not a lipstick person and you wanna go for like a tinted balm that you already have, go for it. Pick and choose what you want to use out of this. I did do the cheapest look I could, but then I also have a ton of options over here that um, I share with you guys as well, where to find them, what their prices are, so that you're able to find products that are from the drugstore that will work for a look like this. I know it can be tough out there, ladies, with the coin and trying to buy beauty products. So I did my best here and I really hope it helps. So let's get started with this look. Okay, so we are going to start with the eyes. I'm actually gonna put my hair back. What we are gonna do is we are going to prime the eyes. So I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Eye Primer in the color Core. This is eight dollars i have long nails right now so i need to take a brush to get it out but you don't need a brush so i'm not you know kind of including this in the tutorial as something i'm counting like when it comes to price so you just rub it on here i like a primer like this because it kind of cancels out any discoloration i have on my eye so that we get um, good pig pigmentation from the eyeshadows. And you wanna blend it in with your finger so that the warmth of your finger kind of melts this into the skin or else it would just be sitting on top and it would look awful. Okay, so we are done with that. So what you're gonna do is kind of just let, let it sit there for at least a minute. And then we are gonna go in with our eyeshadow palette. So this is one um, Going Coconuts by ColourPop. This costs around $12. You can get this online, but then also in front of me, I have another ColourPop um, palette. I am gonna put down below how much this one is. It's Bare Necessities. You just need a neutral palette. You need three colors. And if you can find this in another ColourPop palette that you can find in store, go for it. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, another great option that isn't like, you know, an Urban Decay palette or something like that. But you just need a neutral palette. You're going to need a um, shimmer shade, a light brown, and then a, d a brown that's a little bit darker, not too crazy. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the lighter brown 
this one right here this is called lovely bunch and you are going to take this guy right here this is the morphe m441 brush and this retails for eight dollars and this is something that everybody should have in their makeup collection because it's just so good another color i forgot about is this cream color it's a matte you don't have to use it i prefer to use it with my eyes and this kind of base so i'm taking this blending brush with this color shredded and i'm just putting it over the areas where we are going to be blending product, so in the crease and above. We are gonna take the same exact brush and we are gonna go into that lovely bunch color, which is the light brown. And you are going to put this in, a, in your crease and blend it slightly above. So in here and then blend up. And this brush is just so good for not a lot of money because it just blends so beautifully. So nothing too crazy, pretty light, but you're still able to see it. And using a shadow like this, it's, it's hard to mess up. See, I'm just like being very rough with it and we're getting a really nice blend and good color. Okay, so now we are going to take, you can either try using this brush or you can take a smaller one that's kind of similar. This is the M Morphe M433. This is just stained purple from a palette. So if you need a little bit more precision, you can go for this one, but I am still going to use this one. I'm just wiping it off on a towel. You don't really need to do that because these colors are gonna blend together. I'm then taking this somewhat darker brown color and we are only going to take this in the crease. We are not blending it above. This is going to give us more dimension in the crease. Then we are going to take that color again and we are just going to pop it in this outer corner of the eye not too much we're not going for a very dramatic look I think you should really save that for the bride you want to be soft and subtle and if you get eyeshadow down here don't worry you can clean it up which is why we are doing the eyes first okay just like that wiping this brush off again and I'm going in for one last blend just to make sure everything is seamless. We are then going to take a flat brush like this. I will link an option down below for you guys. Elf makes one that's only $4, I believe. This one is a no name that I've had forever, so I'm just using this. And we are gonna take this shimmer shade. It's called Coco Rush. You can take any kind of like gold shade, champagne -y shade, like there are a ton in this palette like colors like this, they're soft, they're beautiful, they go with every kind of look and they will go with any kind of dress that you're wearing. So I'm going to take Coco Rush on my flat brush and press it in and just like drag it across. And I'm not taking it totally to the outside because that's where we have put down some of that darker brown color but just put it all the way on the lid, not going into the crease, because we wanna keep that dark and matte for that dimension. And this on the lid just makes our eyes pop, just like that. So then I'm taking the blending brush one more time and just blend in the crease so that those edges are nice and soft. There's the eyeshadow. Keep this around because we will need it towards the end. Now what we're gonna do is go on to the face makeup. We're gonna start with a primer. This is a CoverGirl one. There's so many different kinds. This one, the Skin Smoothing, which I'm gonna be using today. There's Pore Minimizing, Mattifying. So just pick something that you think you're gonna need. They have ones that are um, more luminous and hydrating if you have dry skin. These retail for around $8. So I am going to take 
like that much rub it in with my fingers and just rub it into the skin you can totally skip this step doesn't matter i like this i think it just really smooths out the skin and helps foundation look really nice i'm gonna do this but i think it's excessive for you guys too i'm taking the mattifying and just putting it on my nose this is what i like to do on my everyday but buying two of these just so that you mattify your nose is kind of stupid if this is the only time you're gonna wear it so i wouldn't do that do as i say not as i do you know what i mean the foundation we will be using today is the conceal and perfect two-in-one by milani this is a holy grail foundation for me but um Another one that I like from the drugstore is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. One drugstore option that isn't cruelty free, which I have a lot of because I had it when it was cruelty free, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the matte one. I use that on brides and bridesmaids. When I do makeup, I didn't wanna get rid of it because I had like eight bottles of it and Wet n Wild went to the dark side. I think it was like, last year year and a half or something like that i just kind of save that for when i'm doing other people's makeup so that i'm not wasting it but it is a really great long lasting foundation for brides and bridesmaids but i'm going to be using this one i think this wears really nice as well i wear this to work all the time even on days when i'm working like 12 hours because i'm working an event or something like that so i am pumping it out on this just pump it out on your hand all you need and then we are using the real techniques blending sponge and this retails for five dollars so i am taking the flat side with some foundation and we are just gonna go in i am only using two pumps of foundation it's pretty much all you'll need i think this has really great coverage and it just works really well for my skin. I have um, combination skin. I tend to get dry towards the outside and oily in the inside. But with a wedding, you're gonna have to powder throughout the day, no matter what, because it's a long day. And you know, if it's hot outside, it's just kind of inevitable. And the key with this is go in not heavy handed at first because you can always add more foundation or just product in general you can always add more product but taking product away is almost impossible if you're not skilled in makeup like i can sometimes do it not very well and i've been playing with makeup for like eight years so always start with less and you're gonna wanna blend this into your hairline, but not actually like, get it in your hair. So this is the foundation, looking so much better already, and I didn't even use up my like two and a half pumps. So now what we're going to do is go into concealer. I have a lot of options for you guys. The one I'm gonna be using today is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the hydrating one, but I also have the um, 16 hour wear one this is more like a matte finish actually because of how tan i am right now i can't these are too light for me so i'm gonna have to use my CoverGirl. this one's a little bit more expensive so these elf concealers are six dollars a piece i believe this is seven or eight dollars this is the CoverGirl true brand true blend undercover concealer um and then these are both high coverage if you want something that's a little fresher, that's not as high coverage, the Liquid Camouflage Concealer by Catrice is great. You can find this at Ulta. You can find these at Ulta and like um, CVS, something like that. Find this at CVS or like Target. So I am just gonna take swipe, swipe, dot, 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 dot under the eyes. This is my level of coverage that I know that I like and like amount of product that I know that I like, but remember, start out with less. You can always add more. So we are taking the tip of the sponge and blending this in a V like that, because it's really going to highlight the face and help shape the face. 
Like, see how nice that is? And just go along the side of the eyeshadow. We don't want it like going into the eyeshadow, but just make like a nice little cut going on with just the side like that. Okay, we are all blended out. So then what we are going to do is powder the face. So I have two powders here. You really could just use one powder, absolutely. But I am taking the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the color Lace. And I am taking an e.l.f. blush brush because it's kind of flat. Putting some product on the brush and pressing it in. The reason I'm using this powder just for the under eye is because if I use the same color powder for my concealer and my foundation, sometimes it makes it all look the same color. Not all of the time. This is me just being a little extra. You absolutely don't have to do this. You can use the powder that I'm about to show you guys. So what we're gonna use all over the face is the Milani Translucent Light to Medium Powder. I really like this. Um, this is definitely for my more fair to light medium skin tones like me. So I'm just gonna tap some of this out on the cap. We are taking the e.l.f. Um, pointed powder brush. This retails for $6. Just taking the product and just setting the face. And this you like can't go wrong with how much powder you put on because I mean we're gonna use a setting spray and also dancing and everything you're gonna get hot and you're gonna sweat through this makeup so it won't look super powdery unless you're really dry then be careful I like to make sure I feel the face just to make sure I have everything covered Another tip that I forgot that I will tell you real quick. You're going to want to take some foundation. I forget to do this sometimes. And put it down the neck so that your neck and your face match and that you don't have just a line. I see so many people do that. Don't make that mistake. So just blend it down the neck a little. And if it's way too dark, we can always bronze up this area. Not a problem. So... We are done with the powder. We are gonna go on to bronzer. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the best drugstore bronzer that I own. Physician's Formula recently started selling in China, which means they are not cruelty free anymore, which is really sad. This is a really great bronzer. I'm sure there are other bronzers at the drugstore that would work. This one, unfortunately, is like 12 to $16, depending on where you get it, but it is really, really good. So this is the color bronzer. There's light bronzer, bronzer, and like deep bronzer, I think. So I am taking the e.l.f. highlighting brush. This retails for $4. So I am just swirling in and getting excess off because you don't want to add too much at first. And we are just following the hollow of my cheek right there. and just swirly motions. Don't take it down here. You wanna keep it just right in this hollow because we are creating a dimension to the face. And don't take it past your smile lines. See how that kind of just cuts everything out? You can take a little bit more and just put it on the temples, on the side. That helps shape the face even more and on your hairline. You really wanna put this where like sun will hit you. One of my holy grail products is a duo fiber brush. This is from e.l.f. This retails for $6. And I'm just gonna use this lightly to just make sure that everything is blended. You can also skip this and just use the powder brush that you used before. Okay, blush. I am taking the Essence Satin Touch blush in the color 
Satin Love. So this retails for only $3, which is why I chose it for the actual tutorial. But I have other ones here for you. We have the NYX Ombre Blush in the color Strictly Chic. This peachy color, if my hand will get out of the way. We have Tried and True Milani Luminoso. This is what I use on brides most of the time. And then the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in the color Beloved, it's like a pink. Um, you wanna stay with more of a, with a peachy tone or um, a light pink shade. This one is like a mix between peach and pink, just because that's what flatters most skin tones and also goes with more neutral makeup like we are doing right now. So I am taking the Essence Blush and we are taking the e.l.f. blush brush again that we used with the eye powder. And I am just going to swirl and tap it. And you want it on the apples of your cheeks, so smile. Don't bring it up to your eye. Keep it down just on the apples and try not to go past your smile lines again. Then you can bring it up and blend it in with the bronzer. Again, just a little bit at a time. Okay, the fun part, highlighter. So I am just going to take the same brush and just get all the excess off on my hand. So I have a couple highlighters here and kind of like different options to choose from. So this Milani highlighter retails for $10. This is the Strobe Light Moon Glow number six. Really nice champagne color. Again, like a neutral. You wanna stay with that same kind of vibe. You don't wanna to go too crazy with like a colored highlighter or a pink highlighter or something like that. A nice like champagne color is perfect. Unless you're a deeper skin tone or more tan then something a little bit more golden will look really good. Milani also has the highlighter duos. This one's 120 power up. These are good, but this highlighter palette right here retails for $12. So for an extra $2, you get more shades and maybe you and some bridesmaids can like split this half and half and you can use it. If you guys are going to share powder products like this or eyeshadow palettes, spray them down with rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. It dries really quick, but that's how you disinfect powder makeup items. I'm going to go in with this palette and I am going to take this champagne shade right there with that blush brush. See, pretty. It's like a medium glow. It's not too crazy, but it also pops a little bit. You don't wanna like outshine the bride, you know what I mean? If you are doing this for bridesmaids makeup. See, it's just really nice and pretty. So there is that. So what we are gonna do is we are going to go back into going coconuts and we are going to take a little pencil brush type thing this is the morphe e36 but elf sells one this one i think is probably around eight dollars but elf sells a pencil brush a small like smudger brush for four dollars so i'm gonna take that light brown shade that we used before and just run it on my lash line not going down too much and then that is it for the eyeshadow so we are going to take a setting spray this is a mini milani make it last setting spray helps Keep your makeup on for 16 hours. I got this in um, the beauty section at Target. My Target has like a little display that has minis of beauty items and like shampoos and stuff like that. So that's where I got this. So the original size of this is $10. So I can imagine I only paid like $5. So just give it a little shake. This one's brand new, so I gotta get it started. Okay, and just drench the face. You just want enough where you can feel it all over your face, where your face 
is wet but not dripping you know what i mean like you can just feel it like good coverage good coverage across the face this is also going to help um, tone down the powders on your face kind of get them to sink into the skin and get any of that like powdery residue off of your face so it looks like your makeup is just one so i'm going to be putting on false lashes um, we're gonna be filling in the eyebrows. So we are gonna be doing the eyebrows first. I'm using the NYX Brow Pencil. Retails for $10. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows real quick. This is the color Ash Brown. So once you lay down product, you wanna go in with the spoolie just to blend everything so that I don't have lines going like that. And you just blend up. Then I'm gonna go in with my Milani Brow Gel. This is just a clear one. It helps keep your brows in place. So just use it how you want it. I like my brows to go up and to the side a little bit so they're lifted just like that. You definitely can skip this step. You can do whatever you freaking want. Instead of using this, the cheaper alternative is the NYX um, Good Brow Day. Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's, all, it's $6. Everything will be linked down below. The cheapest and best options for you. All right, now is the time that people are probably dreading lashes. You totally don't have to do this. You can just use a curler and a mascara. I recommend a waterproof. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Hydrofuge Waterproof. If you're gonna cry, I would use the waterproof. So you can do lashes two ways. You can use a liner or you can opt out of the liner. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the liner just because I don't wanna skip out on showing you guys stuff. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I don't have any drugstore ones, but the NYX um, Brush Tip Eyeliner, people freaking love that. So go for a NYX one. Definitely gonna be a fraction of this price. But what we're gonna do is this super thin line across our lash line. No wings or anything like that unless that's what your bride wants you to do. I do not recommend that at all. Not everybody's eye is suited for a wing liner look. My eyes aren't really the best. I have wrinkles right here because I squint a lot and my eyeliner tends to hide in that when I squint or just rest my eyes. So long story short, you can do just a thin line for the lash band or you can just put the lash band on without a line or you can use an eyeshadow and do a thin line you can really mix it up however you want so i'm just going to go in with this and do a thin one okay ardell wispies demi wispies a tried and true i put these on all my bridesmaids and brides so you will need to cut these most likely so what you're going to do I'm taking tweezers, totally use your fingers if you want to. Take from the outside so that you don't ru ruin the inside corner of the lash because you can't cut those off or else you will look weird. And that's also where you cut from, the outside corner because these are specifically tapered to look like your natural inner lashes that are smaller than the outside. So if you cut those, you're just gonna have like these long lashes coming at you from your inner corner and it's gonna look a little bizarre. So take your lash, put it up to your eye, like just how you would want it and figure out how much you need to cut off. So it looks like I would benefit from cutting off one chunk that chunk right there. I just cut it off like that. So I have smaller eyes, so I need to do that. These retail for about $3 a pair, and they are just so good. Taking my Duo Lash Glue, this retails, let me check, for about $5. And this is so good out there. If you have latex allergies, 
I would try and figure out a glue that is good for you because some glues do have latex in them. So what we are doing is we are putting a generous amount on and you're gonna wait for it to get tacky. If you put it on right now when it's wet, it's gonna slide all over your eye. You want it to stick a little, it's easier to maneuver that way. You're gonna wanna wait like 30 seconds to a minute, probably more like a minute. With this glue, you can tell because once it starts to look a little more blue and not so white, like a little bit more clear, that's when you wanna stick it on. So I just go in, stick it on where I think it needs to go, and then just maneuver the insides and outsides. And you want it to stick to your lash line. Not on, not your lashes, but where we put that eyeliner is where you want it to stick. I'm using twi tweezers for the inner corner. You don't have to, I just can't grab it because I have long nails. See how it's sticking to the skin there and not sticking to my actual lashes. And these are great because the lash band is very bendy so it's easy to fit all eyes. So we're gonna wait for that to dry and we're gonna go on with the other eye. Okay, I have both lashes on. I'm actually gonna take the eyeliner again, the liquid liner, and we are gonna hide the lash band. So you see how you can see some white there. Just cover it up with some eyeliner carefully. Again, not the best angle, sorry. So you're covering up glue spots and the clear sections of the band. There you go, look at the difference between that and that. There we go, lashes on. So to get your natural lashes to meld with your fake lashes, you're gonna take a mascara. This is the Essence Lash Princess. They have different versions of this. I'm pretty sure they do have a waterproof. This is only five bucks and this is a great mascara. So many people like this. So I'm just kind of running it along my lashes so that everything coexists just like that. And then we are going to take it on our bottom lashes. Don't be afraid of this. Just be very gentle and look really close into the mirror. Just like that. So if you do wanna add like a liner to your bottom lashes, you can take a brown or a black um, I have a black one right here. This is Essence. This is like $3. I would just put it on the outer corners like that. I wouldn't run it all the way through because if you put a black eyeliner or just a dark color all the way through on the lash line, it closes off the eyes. And it makes them look smaller. And the whole point of us putting lashes on and um, putting mascara on our lower lashes just to make our eyes pop. They look bright, very pretty and feminine, which is just the bridesmaids look, you know? Okay, we are so close to being done. Let's talk about lips really quick and then we will be done with this whole thing. So lots of lip items to choose from. I highly recommend going for a light pink or a peachy pink. Something I used on a bride recently is the Matte Flower Beauty lipstick in the color Naked Blush. This is a peachy pink color like that. It looks pretty bright on camera, but it's more like a peach color. Then we have the lipstick by Milani in Nude Cream. Same kind of thing, a peachy pinky nude. So I'm actually gonna try the Nude Cream by Milani. Smells like cherry. I'm going with this because I just have a tan on. And the cheapest color that I would recommend using 
it's just too light for me right now. If I was a couple shades darker, like a couple days from now, it would work perfectly, but we went in with Milani Nude Cream. Okay guys, this is the finished look. This is like the quintessential perfect bridesmaid bride makeup look. Super neutral, super pretty and bright. Love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really hope it helped. If it did and you used it, please comment down below and let me know how it went. I know these type of things can be a struggle sometimes, so I really wanted to help you guys out. So I really hope I did. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.